Science Fest offers the Bloomington community a good chance to come into IU, see what we're all about. I really enjoy teaching people that haven't already gotten an experience, that already have their minds made up. It's something new and different. Um, so it's a, it's a great way to make an impression, but to put a little wonder into it as well that uh, makes science and chemistry something that is just awe-inspiring and something that I want to learn more about. All of the areas of science that IU is involved in. So people come, they interact, they play, work with interactive, hands-on science demonstrations in all areas of science, and they talk with real scientists here at IU to find out opportunities for research, to find out what's happening here at the university. It's a multi-generational thing. We have grandparents coming in with their grandchildren saying, I brought my children to the Science Fest and now my daughter is bringing her child to the Science Fest. And so I think it really has, it has had a big impact on the community over the years. This being my first Science Fest, I was really um, intrigued by the amount of engagement. We had a lot of graduate students who were doing research and then developed their outreach programs around the research they were doing, and they did a wonderful job of asking questions of the people that were coming by and really engaging um, talks. I think one great thing about Science Fest is it made me kind of think about the broader implications of our research. It was great to kind of think about my research in a larger context, why it was important or relatable to everyone who was coming by. Specifically, I was in charge of the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. I don't think many of them had seen the cockroaches before, so when they when they saw those, that was really exciting to see them. So excited about it. And usually at Indiana University, I spend a lot of time with undergraduate students, so I love interacting with different demographics at Science Fest and also other Science Outreach Society activities. I just love to see the way the kids react to, to the various demonstrations that we have set up, the way they interact with them. I think it's, it's so great to see you know, young people who are just fascinated by, by science that they don't see every day. And, and I, I think that's really the most rewarding part of the Science Fest. I think that's what really great outreach is, is when you go out to schools or interact with the general public, if you can get them to start asking questions about what you're doing, you know you have them. And that's your opportunity to teach. Mm -hmm.